Hey guys, welcome to another OMG Tuesday. Last week was an absolute and total fail and it had to do with really cool lip oils. And I was like, you know what? I wanna find something really awesome that I can recommend. I think this will work just because I know I already really enjoy the liquid lipstick formula from Tattoo Junkie. I have never tried their new velvet powder. This one says to allow the lip paint to dry, then dab your finger into the effects and apply to your lips. I don't know why I'm baffled by that. I feel like the little pigments are gonna fall all over my face, but we're gonna put it to the test. We're going to go throughout my day. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm going to drink beverages and kiss James and see if this lasts, if it smudges, if it's as good as the glitter one. And I am gonna try out this shade right here, Rebel. But I also wanna show you that I have a few other of the velvet it. I have the shade Dazed, which, you know, just this is perfect for your average day. Um, I also got the shade Bubblegum, which I think the liquid lipstick in here just looks pretty even on its own, whether you use the topper or not. And then they have something called a Chroma, which I have not tried either. This one is the same liquid lipstick, which is matte. They all are. And then they have the different top coats. So this one looks really kind of duochromed, which is probably why it's called Chroma and it gives you a metallic effect. They're $6.99. I think that is such an excellent price. I first tried out Tattoo Junkie uh, by seeing a display at Walgreens and I just thought it was really cool looking. So it was one of those kind of hidden gems where you're like, why is this liquid lipstick working as well as something that I would pick up at Sephora? But it really is one of the best formulas that is affordable and anything under 10 bucks that's like this I'm like okay yeah let's try that out oh this one is a sparkle I think that is similar to the glitter one maybe just a little more finely milled that I originally tried out from Tattoo Junkie no lies this packaging is kind of a pain in the butt to open I recommend scissors don't try it any other way you will struggle I have a berry lip pencil from Stila this is in the shade Merlot and I am going to first line my lips. I am pretty sure it just started raining outside. It's feeling very fall in California right now. I am kind of totally into it. I'm in the mood for a latte, which will be a really good beverage test because when you're wearing like a dark red berry anything and you put your lips around that white top on a Starbucks cup or wherever you get your coffee, dang girl, you are wearing a lot of lip product, like calm down on the lip stuff. So we'll see if this transfers and all of that. Um, I'm just gonna go in. This is what the wand looks like. It's a really nice doe foot applicator, really high quality. And I'm just gonna start on the top lip moving out. Okay, I kind of try when I'm doing like a lipstick to like let my lips kind of do like this while it dries so it doesn't get too crinkly. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, opening this is not a good time. Why won't you open? Oh my God, for real? Okay, opening this is the biggest pain in my life right now. That is a giant drawback. This little thing in there is like jammed so hard. That was kind of not fun. I'm gonna take a deep breath because I really like how this looks. I like how it feels. The Tattoo Junkie formula on their liquid lipstick does not feel like a normal liquid lipstick. It actually feels super moisturizing, which I don't quite know how they do that, but I really like how they feel. So what I'm gonna do now is take my finger, dab it in, the kind of top coat, which technically I was reading the ingredients. It doesn't say this on the package, but you could totally use this on your eyes too. It's basically just a loose pigment. Okay, $6.99 for this. Are you kidding me right now? This is really strange. It feels very different than the glitter one felt. It feels very dry, which you have to imagine you're putting a powder on your lips. So I think it's like no brainer, it's gonna feel dry, but the feeling is really weird. I will do a few check-ins. I have some running around to do and I will bring my vlog camera. We will do some zoom in close-ups and see how long this $6.99 metallic powdered lipstick liquid lipstick, whatever you want to call it, 
from Tattoo Junkie last. So the reason that I think that this is doing so well is because I have eaten food, potato chips, that are kind of oily, and yes, I was being a little bit careful to kind of like not get it all over my face. Like whenever I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, I'm a little more cautious and careful when I'm eating, but I have to show you. This is oh, kind of gross, but not really. Uh, this is my coffee cup, and you can see there is a little bit of the metallic topper that I think got on the lid, but not bad at all. Not bad, like if I were wearing a vampy lip color that had a metallic sheen to it, I feel like that would have been all freaking over the place. So uh, right now I'm really impressed with this and I can't wait to try different colors. I wanted to show you guys like one of the more dramatic ones, but I'm really excited to try a nude one and kind of play with the different textures. So. At the moment, I'm gonna say I'm really into it. $6.99, who can complain about that? Uh, yeah, so far so good. I thought I would share with you one of the rare times that I am actually wearing cozy clothes because it is really cold outside here in California. This old thing I've had for a few years, this is my like favorite sweater ever that says Karma. I'm wearing some leggings from Aritzia. These boots, are so good, I cannot even describe to you how comfortable and wonderful they are. I ordered them from Amazon. They're by Steve Madden. And then this is old, it's from Zara. And the lipstick is still an A plus. I'm normally not totally comfortable in these kind of colors, but I am really, really digging this one. I like that jacket, Tati. I think it's so cute. Right? Well, you're wearing a big sweater underneath. No, I think it looks great. This is not what we came here for. Literally, just please turn to the door and show everyone how bad I am. She came in that door. She stopped with this jacket and landed over here. I think it's cool, but I like the other one better. Oh, I forgot we're doing OMG today. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to say that it looks patchy, but it doesn't. It looks velvety. It's metallic. That's it's, why. It's velvet. Yeah. It looks velvety. It has texture. Give me a kiss. Boom. Always watching me. Always watching. What do you need, Puka? What do you need? Is this a stare down? No? Well, you want some ramen. You want some chicken? All right, you guys, I'm back home. My hair is up, the sweatpants are on, and I'm about to do one final test with this liquid lipstick, metallic, velvet, whatever you want to call it, lip product. It is now almost 10 o'clock at night. I am finally eating dinner. It's been like a crazy, crazy day. I'm really impressed that this is like, like, well, I guess a little is coming off, but it stayed put really well. I really like it. Okay, so the final test is to see if I can eat ramen noodles and have my liquid velvet liquid lipstick stay on. I'm betting probably not, but you know what? Let's just find out anyway. It is not soup proof. Oh God. Okay, so soup is done. I'm now laying in bed and I need to take my makeup off. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I did not look in the mirror, not once. I finished my soup, I went downstairs, I started doing dishes, I edited, and now I know why James was laughing at me because, yeah, it's not soup proof. But it did wear all day. I'm still very happy with this product and I'm gonna try the other colors. For $6.99, I think, oh my God, it's totally worth it. So definitely give this item a try if you like any of the colors. I think it's a really great product, whether you do the top coat or not. I think the liquid lipstick formula is awesome. Best at the drugstore, so there you have it. I am impressed, OMG. I need to go to bed. So I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.